Hi there, my name is Wilhelm Hawker and I'm the Director of Solution Engineering here at Parasoft focused on functional solutions. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be looking at AI-based API testing using large language models with Parasoft SOATest. So let's get started. So here we've got SOATest and you'll notice that I've got an AI assistant chat window where I can start chatting with it to help me with my API testing process. I also want to point out that with SOTES AI Assistant, we integrate with a variety of LLM providers. So right now I'm connected with OpenAI, GPT-41, uh, but you can provide a variety of LLMs, whether it's uh, Azure OpenAI, OpenAI, uh, or even a uh, model you're deploying locally in your environment. So what I want to do is have the AI assistant help me with my API testing workflow. And so for that, I'm going to be testing this Parasoft demo app application, which is a logistics app. It's got categories, items, orders, etc. And the application has the UI built on top of APIs. And so here we've got a service definition that describes the REST API uh, powering this app. And what I want to do is give our AI assistant a prompt where I point it to the service definition and I ask it to create a test scenario, adding two items to the cart, submitting the order, verify the order has been placed. And I also give it some requirements around the data I'm interested in data driving the test with. So first, it summarizes uh, what steps it thinks correlate to the scenario I want to have built. So first, creating uh, an item, adding an item to the cart, adding a second item to the cart, placing an order, and then uh, get order to verify the order. So these steps look good. And now it's going to bring up a dialog so we can create our test. All right, and with that, we've got the first step of our test creation done. And now it's going through our data requirements and we're going to be having this test data-driven with the data I asked for. So to items and quantities for the two items, region is the data I wanted. So this looks good to me as well. Uh, and so very naturally, just chatting with the assistant, telling it what I want created for my test, it's building out a nice data-driven test for me. Uh, so for example, if we run this and go back to our demo app, we can see that 10 orders were created in the system. If I drill into one of them, we can see items and quantities corresponding to uh, the data-driven test that we just ran. Uh, so very quickly being able to get started using an API spec and have some interesting data-driven tests coming out of it. Uh, but I also want to show you uh, one other example using the AI assistant here where we get to see the AI doing uh, one additional thing that's uh, quite powerful. And so here I'm asking it to create a scenario where we add a new asset category into the system, uh, check that the category was added, and then add, add two items uh, into each category, and I've got some requirements around data. So similarly, we've got a summary here, add the category, check based on category name, and then add two items. This also looks good. So here we'll come in. And just like before, we're also going to have it uh, process through what I asked for related to data. And we'll see um, what we get from that. And while we're waiting for that, I wanted to point out what the AI is doing in addition to kind of setting up the test and data driving it. And one thing that's interesting about this scenario is when we create a new category in the system, that sort of a, a has a dynamic nature to it, right? If I'm going to add items to the category, 
uh, there's going to be a category ID that's coming in the response of that create category test. And so you'll notice category ID was automatically parameterized to test one, where the AI realized that the ID and category name, which shows up as a requirement here in test two, these are being dynamically extracted from the response of the create category request so that it can properly set up the subsequent test steps here. Uh, so helping us do something a little more complex where there's some data chaining required. So now I'm going to data drive the scenario like before with the data that I asked for and it's going to give us our CSV data source. And so let's run this test and come take a look at the demo app. And sure enough, we can see our categories created with the data requirements that I was interested in. We can see items related to, in this case, fire starters. Uh, so really a nice way to get started with API testing using natural language to help you get a head start on the various scenarios you're interested in testing, data driving those scenarios with interesting data that you need to test your API with, and that's all the time I have for you today. And if you have any questions or you want to see more, please reach out to us at parasoft.com and we look forward to talking with you soon. Thank you.